Okay, and this is where you launch it. So this is the exciting stuff. I'm going to launch it from here. Okay, this one down. Okay, so here, here, here it is, right? So the website in Hike that we're using to demo on is actually the Hike website. We thought, why not actually just show you how this works on the Hike website? Put our money where our mouth is, right? This is this is our, our main website. We're going to be updating it using the on-site optimizer during this demo. Uh, please bear in mind, demos have a nasty ha a nasty habit sometimes live demos are live amazing. demos <laughs> so if something goes wrong that's just it's the laws the laws of demos but we're going to show you it so this is what happens right you click you click on that and it's going to launch your website and you might go well, this is just my website but if we have a look now let me just move this out of the way you can see you've got this overlay above it and this is all your ability to update your website so we're bringing hike over your website so you've got your website and we're just overlaying hike on top of it and what you can do, you can select between all your pages. So you can see here, I've got my home page, all of the pages that Hike's got. This little number here tells you how many actions you've got for the page. So just like at the moment in Hike, you go to your actions section and you, you go page by page, it shows you how many actions you've got. You can see here. So on this home page, I've got four actions. Now, where can I see those actions? By clicking this. Scroll out here, it tells me my actions that I need to complete. So I've got missing alt text directly on my images. I've got missing meta, meta description and I need to select an extended SEO optimized page title. So it's like, okay, cool. Let's say I want to, you know, I can close this. I can pin these so that I can see them even after I close this and I can go through just a bit of kind of make it easier, but let's remove those. Cool. So I can see on my actions. If I click this, I can see the keywords I've assigned to this page. So I've got two keywords assigned to this page, DIY SEO software and DIY SEO. If I click up here, I can see all of my settings. So I can see my page title. I can see my meta description. It's empty, just like the action said. I can see what my canonical URL is, my meta robots, and my JSON. What you'll notice is you can update all of these, right? As we go along, but let's go through that in a second. What you also get is you scroll on the page, you can see all of this, but, but what, What's the key feature about this is you can edit this. So you can see here, I've clicked on this and it's activated and it's telling me this is a H1. Great. Now let's say I want to update this H1. I want to change this from software to platform. That shows me exactly what it looks like. I can make these edits in real time, right? I can revert this. Let's say I want to change it. Let's revert changes, revert to original, puts it back. Let's say I do want to push this live. Oops. Cool. I can make changes to the copy. So I can um, put that on the ends there. I can make change to this. This is a link. Where do I want this link to go? I can change the, the destination of where this link goes. I can go in down. Uh, let's have a look. I can change this. This is a H2. Let's say I want to change it to a H1. I can change a H1, H3, H4. I can even change it to a paragraph. Uh, I've got videos, um, images. I can click on the image and I can add an alt text. I mean, that's a pain. And it sounds like such a simple thing, but yeah, there's so many sites, even kind of big, well known CMSs like WordPress, where it really depends on the theme and how the theme's been built as to whether image alts that you edit in the back end of WordPress actually show on the front end. And there, there's been so many times where it just doesn't. Yeah. Um, and, and trying to work out why that is, is, is really tricky. But now, obviously, you can do it directly through this. Exactly. So um, let's say I put here a uh, Euro search award, right? I can add that as the alt text for this one here. Click plus. And I can make edits to all of this content on the website. All of these, I can make changes to them. So we saw before, right? One of the actions was the missing meta description. So normally what you'd have to do, go to your CMS, go to that page, try and figure out where the meta description is, write the meta description, press publish, go back to hike, press complete action. Now, all you need to do is go SEO settings, go to meta description, go, mm, okay, got to write my meta description. Oh, I can choose this. Choose from three SEO friendly options. What this is going to do is we're going to generate three options of meta descriptions for you. They're not going to be generic SEO descri um, meta descriptions. They're going to be based on the keywords that you've got assigned to this page. So you know one of the keywords before was DIY SEO software. So it's actually written a meta description for me, optimized for the keyword I want this page to rank for. So you go, Hike offers easy to use DIY software, designed to help you improve your website's availability to start ranking. That's a really nice meta description. If I press select, it's now put it in there for me. Right, now, if I go down, 
press save. Great, SEO settings changed successfully. Now let's see what else we can do. Now within this, one of the one of the the one of the also the more difficult things around SEO is getting your keywords included within the main elements, but also within the copy, right? Now you're writing page copy, but you want to get your keywords included. If you click on this, you'll see these two options appear. First one here is rephrase and optimize. So this AI driven feature oops, will rewrite your existing content, adding in your keywords and keeping it the same length, but you can choose expand and optimize. So this will take what copy you've got already, add in your keywords and expand it. Let's do the rephrase and optimize. So what it's doing now is getting that copy, the AI is going through it, it's rewriting it and making sure it's optimized for our keywords. And if you remember our two keywords were DIY SEO software and DIY SEO. We've now got DIY SEO software just there and we've got DIY SEO there. So it makes that process. Now uh, we do recommend going through tweaking it, making it have your tone of voice, just like with all AI content generation. But to, as a starting point, it's a great way to um to kind of get started there with that yeah 100 cool let me just admit these more people cool so we can make these changes right and we can do this and we can do it on multiple pages but let's actually see what it does to the website so we've made we've updated the meta description we've updated the h1 we've added this copy and we've added an image on yeah so let's publish and see what happens so once you're ready to do it press continue what this is doing now is it's publishing the changes to your website Takes a couple of secs, and then we'll click uh, View Website. Okay, so immediately we can see the H1's change. It doesn't say a software anymore. It says a platform. And you can see this copy's got changed as well. Hike is your go-to DIY SEO software. So that's the exact copy that we used. If we have a look at the meta description, just go into here, Control F, description. Meta description, high cough is easy to use DIY SEO software. So it's added in the, the meta description that we added. And then finally, the other change that we made was here, right? So if we inspect this, have a look for the, oops, have a look for the alt. There we go, the alt, that's Euro search award. So it's added the alt to that as well. So everything that we've done via the um, optimizer and we've published, you can see it's all gone live on the website. And if we go back to Hike, and we now look at our actions. Okay, add missing alt. That's because there's more than one image on the page that has a missing alt. You've only Good. updated, I've only updated one. Okay, great. <laughs> but it has moved over the meta description one because there's only one meta description we updated Correct. that. Yeah. So yeah, so your actions are updated in real time as you complete them on there. So you don't actually have to go back to the actions part of the platform, right? You could just do it all through here. Exactly. And obviously what you can see on the page now as well, when you come back to it is the purple outline around the items that you have changed. So obviously when you come back at a later date, you can see what stuff you have changed via the optimizer. Um, so you know where you've potentially edited stuff before. Yeah, and it's really simple. So let's say you wanted to change it. You press this and you can revert it to original. So you could do it on the actual elements that you've updated. So if we go down, we can see it on that. Or if you wanted to revert all of them to original and just go back to how it was, you click revert to original, revert to original there, and it does all of them. So this 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 is in essence the, the the feature itself. You know, this is what we think is going to significantly decrease the time it takes for you to do SEO, and significantly decrease the the level of expertise as well, because some CMSs are a pain. If you're an agency. And you know, you've got a lead come through from someone that's Squarespace, you've never worked on a Squarespace website, you find it quite tricky, use the on-site optimizer. It means you can do all your SEO changes via that. I think probably what's a key thing to go through is um it's just SEO, right? Yes. That's you want to go through that. Yeah, we were very conscious that we didn't want to build a CMS system um that would allow you to basically make multiple CMS changes to your website. So bold italicized text is not something that we want to do because from an SEO point of view, it doesn't impact SEO performance. So we were very focused on the stuff that you can update by the optimizer is really the stuff that's going to impact your SEO performance. Yep. Obviously we don't cover every single element at the minute, but we are working hard on adding additional stuff into here and expanding out um, the, the elements that can be updated. But 90% of the stuff that you kind of need to update from your SEO performance, you can update um, by the by optimizer. The optimizer. Yeah. So if we go back to, obviously you can change everything on the front end, you know, images, headings, copy, et cetera. 
or when I say images, we're talking about the SEO element. So the image alts yes. or the image link, link, link locations, but you're not able to like switch out the images, for example, because yeah. that's, that's not part of SEO. And that's what you want to be using your CMS for. Um, so other things that you can do, if we go back to the SEO settings, so your page, so your metadata, your page title, your meta descriptions, you can update canonical URLs. That can be a pain. You know, if yeah. like saying you need to update a canonical URL or something, trying to find that in a lot of CMSs is, is and some of them it's automatically tough. generate them um, yes. and not very well optimized in the way that they automatically generate. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, this really helps with that. Yeah, meta robox tags as well. So you can adjust whatever they've done or you can you can add to that. And JSON LD. So for adding in schema, obviously a much simpler way of adding in schema than the hard coding on the page is to use JSON LD. So you can implement that via this. This is a bit more of a technical SEO thing. So those people that here that know about schema and implementing it, the ability to do this makes life a lot easier.